All right, everybody. Hi, it's David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian, and today I'm going to talk about uh, Jacob and uh, who he wrestled with. Or maybe I should say, according to fundamentalist uh, evangelical Christians, uh, who they think he uh, wrestled with. And uh, I'm just going to start reading from, this is Genesis 32, verses 24 to 32. All right. Now, I'm not going to read, I'm not going to read the whole thing. But anyway, starting at 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince thou hast power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Okay. Now, uh, I heard all through my life as a Christian, when I was a Christian, that this man that he wrestled with was Jesus Christ, the second member of the Christian uh, Godhead. But nowhere in, in this uh, chapter here, this chapter block, is there any indication that there is any second or third or even first? I, well, I'm just going to say uh, there's no indication that there is the second member of the, the Christian Godhead, Jesus Christ. It says that he wrestled with God and man, but it doesn't say that this man is God. Okay? Now, like I said, Christians will say, yeah, well, that, that was Jesus Christ. Okay? Well, let's go to, to a Hosea 12, and I'm starting at, at verse 1. This is 1 to 6. Uh, I just want to establish that this is talking about Jacob, okay? Uh, starting at verse 1. Ephraim feedeth on wind, and followeth after the east wind. He daily increaseth lies and desolation. And they do make a covenant with the Assyrians, and oil is carried into Egypt. The Lord hath also controversy with Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways. According to his doings will he recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the womb. Okay? You remember the story, if you remember the story of Jacob and Esau when they were born, Esau was the firstborn. As he was coming out, Jacob grabbed a hold of his heel. Okay? Okay? And by his strength, he had power with God. Yea, he had power over the angel and prevailed. Okay? You go back here, this man, according to Hosea, is an angel. This is not a second member of the Trinity or even God Almighty himself. Okay? Okay, yea, he had power over the angel and prevailed. He wept and made supplication unto him. He found him in Bethel, and there he spake with us. All right, now, that says, even the Lord God of hosts, the Lord is his memorial. But, that's not who he wrestled, okay? He found him in Bethel, uh, over here, uh, let's see. Jacob called the play, name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. And then this is Penuel, so... I don't know if that's, that's a different one, but anyway, this man right here is an angel, okay? And you go into Genesis 18, and this is when the angels came down because they wanted to... Uh, go into Sodom. They wanted to find out about Sodom. God 
God, who's omniscient, wanted them to find out what was going on, which is, you know, um, you know, I have a video on that. Uh, okay, so we're talking about the angel. We're talking about, you know, the man, okay? Here in Genesis 18... It says, uh, and the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, that's Abraham, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. Okay? All right, so there are three men standing by him. Now, and then he says about, you know, making them food and everything like that. And then they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? Okay, so the angels, these, these angels are talking to them. Then the Lord comes in here and says unto Abraham about Sarah laughing. So you have, a, 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 there's a difference here. There's, there's the three men, and then the Lord starts talking. And the Lord is separate from these men. Okay. Now, let's go down here to verse 22. All right? And the men, now that's all three of them. There were three men up here. And I'm just going through this to try to be very clear here. Three men stood by him. Okay? Okay, verse 22. And the men turned their faces from thence and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. So you have, there's a difference here. There's the men going down to Sodom. And then you have the Lord. So I'm just trying to establish that right here you have a man. You know, and this is not the second member of the Trinity. Okay, Hosea makes it clear that this is an angel. And Christians will say, well, the angel of the Lord. Okay, well, okay, if that's the case, then why didn't this say right here? And there wrestled, okay, Jacob was left alone and there wrestled with the angel of the Lord until the breaking of day. No, he wrestled with an angel. Okay, and, and something else that I, 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 I had brought up in another video. Isaiah 45.5, okay, where God says, I am the Lord, there is none else, okay? There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. There is no God beside me. Now, You'd think if there were three members of this Godhead that he would say, there are three of us and there's none beside us. I am the Lord. There is none else. There is no God beside me. All right? So, for the Christians, this man is, as Hosea says, an angel. All right, it's not the third member of the, the Trinity the, the, or the second member of the Trinity. And if that would be the case, why couldn't this God beat Jacob? This God here uh, had, had to cripple him. And even when he crippled him, he was whining and telling him, let me go. All right. Now, the thing is, I don't even think this happened. I think this is just a story to, you know, help people get through the day if they need it. But, you know, for you Christians out there, okay, this here has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Everything to do with an angel. So, that's all I have today. 
Uh, I'm learning wi video, yeah, video e editing. Right, I'm Bugs, uh, who is that, Elmer Fudd? I'm learning video editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clip a part out of this one and I hope I can get it right. Because uh, there's another channel I want to start where I'm going to have to do a lot of video editing. So I need to learn this. So anyway, there you go. The man that Jacob wrestled is an angel or was an angel. Uh, if it ever happened, which I, like I said, I don't think it, it happened. <clears throat> so that's it for right now. And, uh, I'll be back with more videos, uh, because like I said, you know, this, uh, this Bible and, the, and Christianity is the gift that keeps on giving. What I'm finding incredible are how these apologists will just, this, this, I suppose this happened, or I, I think this guy said that or did that because of this, you know, speculation, you know, I, 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 my question is why did an omnipotent God give us a book that can be misinterpreted? Okay. Ha, spawned so many different sects and, and versions of, Christianity. Okay, I mean, just in I I was in uh, the fundamentalist. You could say the free grace. There's Methodist. There's Calvinist. There's all of this. Why? All right. Okay, this is something that uh, I, I. That's why I named the channel Critical Thinking Christian. I don't consider myself a Christian anymore, but I want Christians to watch these videos and other videos. There are other former Christians out there that are also bringing about the, this stuff and asking questions. Ask yourself why it is that you don't want to critically think about this. Is it fear? Is it because you're afraid that uh, if you, maybe you have questions like I did. You know, one, one of the main ones was omniscience. If this God's omniscient, then why do you allow all this? And the answer to that question, if he's omniscient, then he allowed all this because he wanted it to happen. Meaning, he wanted the majority of all of his human creation to go into a lake of fire. Think about that. Okay? Critically think about that. Don't just watch some of my videos or see a title and then make some stupid comment. Like uh, the one I made on hell where this Christian just commented, it's eternal. Didn't even watch it. Don't want to watch it. And if you do watch it, just, just put all that truth out of your mind and tell yourself that, hey, you know, I, I better believe this because this God... He might throw me in hell. So that's 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 uh, just a little bit of a rant here at the end, uh, and I'll be back because, like I said, it's a gift that keeps on giving. And until next time, I am David Kramer, the critical thinking Christian.